Hey you guys! I'm super excited for this video because I know that you guys have really enjoyed organising videos recently. I was on my way from Egypt to France to visit my friends here and I had just gone through security and everything and entered into the area that has like duty free shops and basically I realised they could use some organising there was no music playing I had time to spare waiting for my flight so I started organising I'll be doing some tapping and scratching as well I'm just starting off with some of these teas Um, Marco, you asked, and I did read your comments, you guys, on the uh, videos recently, most of them. I haven't had as much time to respond and push like and stuff, but I did get to see them. And Marco, you had asked um, what a duty-free shop is, yeah, and basically it's like tax-free. You find them in all airports, most airports. Because you're kind of like in a, a zone that's not designated, uh, maybe to a certain country, I don't really know how to describe it, but it's tax free. So you get really good deals on things, so sometimes people purchase things in airports like larger packs of things, or perfumes, things like that, makeups. We'll get them for a better price, essentially. They're usually quite beautifully set up in the airports and there's usually a lot of them. So, the no talking version of this is already out on the channel. This is the soft-spoken voiceover. I'll try to remember to put the link to the new talking version below for you guys. in order. There's lots of like candies and snacks in the duty free shops so this is a bag of Sahara Delights. They are dates. They've got lots of wines and things as well. little pyramid shaped boxes of dates. Dates are a dried fruit that are eaten a lot in the Middle East. They're very sweet and they have a really like chewy texture. So there's lots of like souvenir type items in duty free shops. Souvenirs from the place that country that the airport is in. So in this case Egypt. 
here are some of the nuts um, from this company. And um, there are pistachios, the bags of pistachios. They were everywhere. I kind of just kind of moved in and really picked them up and such. And I'm just saying the nuts are quite expensive. I do have shelled pistachio nuts at Costco also, but um, I like the one that's already shelled. Um, take the shell is already off of honey. So these are their coffees, lots of different flavours. So like really quality chocolates they have. I should make sure to get some chocolate while I'm in France. There's some like chocolatiers like on the corners, like little shops with lots of chocolates everywhere. It's just amazing.
So this is the one I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Lind, Lind, L-I-N-D-T. The two consonants next to each other, which throws me off. Lind, Lind. This is some cocoa powder. Also from Abu Auf. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. I know Abu, but Abu Auf. Lots of great options. You can find these shops all over the place in Egypt. They're really nice shops. In Arabic it literally just says cocoa powder like but like Powder, cocoa powder. So maybe doing some hot chocolate or using it for a cake or something. really relaxing for me to organise I love to organise when things are organised I kind of feel more peaceful about the space so I was having a great time <laughs> and no one in the shop paid me any attention or asked me to stop filming, it was great then like two people at the cash register maybe I just thought I was just shopping, I don't know and I loved it, there was no music playing it was so great special time in Egypt coming up for Muslims in Egypt for Ramadan. That's why Muslims will fast for the month of Ramadan. And dates do end up being eaten quite a bit, I think, right before taking what's called breakfast. You actually eat it as you make your meal in the evening where you break your fast. Ramadan is starting soon and Muslims around the world will celebrate that by fasting during the day and then each evening at a certain time the fast breaks and they have meals together to celebrate as a community. This is uh, Toblerone, the chocolate I was talking to you about earlier. It's a Swiss chocolate in these kind of triangular boxes. And then these are some, I think, mints after eight. I think it's a brand of milk chocolate. I like the way that they stacked the 
Soccer and Chocolates. As you can see, kind of a cool design. All different kinds of chocolates they have. White chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate. And they're just like really, really high quality chocolates. You see it says F Switzerland on the bottom. Milk chocolate. This one's got a little cherry inside, it looks like. Like it's his fruit. I've not had that one. fruit and nuts. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want more organizing videos and I'll try to get those to you guys. I hope that you have a great rest of your day or night and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.